Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Myself Ashok and I am your home theater guy. In our last video, we discussed about audio ports and audio cables. In today's video, we are going to discuss about video ports and video cables. And the video ports are YCB, CR, which is none other than our component cables and HDMI cable. Let's jump into the video for further details. Y CBCR, which is called as component cables, and these component cables will work 100% based on chroma subsampling. If you don't know what is chroma subsampling and how it's work, I made a video regarding chroma subsampling on my home theater basic series. Go and watch that video. Why? Because of in this video, I'm going to use some chroma subsampling numbers and some chroma subsampling related topics. So if you watch that video, you can get good information what I'm going to explain on this video. And also you will get good idea what is chroma subsampling, how important chroma subsampling for a video. So don't miss that video. I'm giving that video link in this information card and also I'm going to provide that video link in the description. Okay, moving on to the one by CBCR. So Y cable, Y cable is color coded with green color. Especially this Y cable. Y cable is carrying Luma. Luma means brightness. So it is carrying Luma, right? That's why it's called as Lumens Carrier and CB and CR. In CB, CR, C called as a chroma, B for blue and R for red. So chroma means color and the CB, CR, chroma blue and chroma red will carry color signals to our TV or our output port. So in this Y, CB, CR component ports doesn't carry our audio signal. For audio, we need to depend on RCA cables or we need to depend on optical cables. So 100% it will carry only video signals which will completely divide the chroma subsampling into three parts and it will carry to the output. For an example take 4 to 0 chroma subsampling video. So in this 4 to 0 chroma subsampling the first number 4 representing that how many lumens we have to carry. That means the Y cable is responsible to carry these 4 number luma carriers. And the second number 2, 2 will represent first number of 4 individual pixel boxes. For that second number, CB is responsible to carry the two number. The two number representing that how many pixel blocks we need to uh, carry from the first layer of pixel blocks. And the third number, zero, which will represent the second layer of four individual pixel blocks. And the zero is responsible to carry from CR port, CR cable. This is the manner how YCB CR will carry chroma subsampling videos. If any cable got interrupted here, for an example Y cable, you cannot see that much of bright, uh, brightened video. It will got somewhat faded or darkened video. If CB or CR got damaged, your complete picture will turn into orange color or green color. Some kind of color disturbance will be happen. You cannot able to see that much accurate colors in your TV. After this, we have HDMI cable. HDMI stands for High Dynamic Multimedia Interface. In this HDMI cable, there are three popular versions which is widely available in our market. And the first one is 1.4 version, second one is 2.0 version and the third one is 2.1 version. In HDMI 2.0, there are two different types. HDMI 2.0 version A, HDMI 2.0 version B. So we don't require that much in depth of A and B versions. We will, we, we will just know about what is the HDMI 2.0 and 2.1 and 1.4. So let's begin with 1.4 version. In HDMI 1.4 version, it is having the bandwidth rate of 10.2 Gbps. And the HDMI 4, sorry. And the HDMI 1.4 version will carry 4K signal with a refresh rate of 30 Hz. I mean 420 chroma subsampling video can able to travel from 1.4 HDMI version with the refresh rate of 30H. Simply 420 4K are the rate of 30H refresh rate. We cannot get 444 chroma subsampling video on this 1.4 version HDMI. So moving on to the next one HDMI 2.0 version. In this HDMI 2.0 version the data bandwidth rate is 18 GB per second. In this 18 Gbps of bandwidth, we can able to get 4K pure chroma subsample video. That means 444 pure chroma subsample video will travel 4K signal at 60 frames per second. I mean 60 Hz refresh rate. And also in HDMI 2.0 version, along with 4K signal, I mean 444 pure chroma subsample video at 4K at 60 frames per second, 
we will get up to 32 channels of audio. 32 channels of audio that means Dolby Atmos, DTS X, DTS Virtual X, no matter. Even IMAX enhanced audio will also carry from this HDMI 2.0 watching cable. So that's a good news. And here in HDMI 2.0, we will get HDR signals also in 4K format. HDR content videos means the HDR 10, HDR 10 plus and Dolby Vision content videos. We can able to get this HDR format videos on this HDMI 2.0 version cables. But here is a limitation. 420 4K at the rate of 60 FPS, we can able to get highest video clarity in HDMI 2.0 version. And also in HDMI 2.0 version, we have HDCP 2.2 support. HDCP stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. HDCP is the most important one on digital media segment. I am going to make a video on HDCP, what is HDCP and how it is going to work. So we will discuss that on upcoming videos. So moving on to the HDMI 2.1 version. In HDMI 2.1 version, we have highest bandwidth of 48 Gbps rate. In this HDMI 2.1 version, we will get 4, not 4K, we will get 8K, not 8K, we will get up to 10K signal. And also this HDMI 2.1 is especially designed for 8K media transfer. It can able to transfer HDR content 8K video, pure chroma subsample 444 8K video at 120Hz refresh rate. I mean 120 frames per second. So if you come back to 4K videos, the HDR content videos which is chroma subsampled on 444 highest clarity 4K HDR video, we will get at 120 frames per second. That's a huge clarity. You cannot expect that much clarity in HDMI 2.0 version. That's a huge change in HDMI versions. So if we consider 8K HDR signals, 420 chroma subsampled video, we can able to get at 120Hz refresh rate. I mean 420 chroma subsampled HDR video, we will get 8K resolution at 120Hz refresh rate. If we come back to 422 HDR chroma subsampled video, we will get 8K signal at 60Hz refresh rate only in the HDMI 2.1 version. And also in HDMI 2.1 version, we have HDCP 2.3 support. So I'm going to make a video, right? We will discuss that on next video. So that's it viewers, that's all the video ports we have. YCBCR, how YCBCR is working, what is the use of YCBCR component ports and the HDMI ports versions. These are all the information about uh, video ports. If you likes my video, if you likes my information, consider to subscribe my channel to get more videos like this. If you want to help me more, just subscribe my channel and share this channel with one of your family member or one of your friend. Just share with your family members who is desperately need this information to set up their home theaters and video games. That's it viewers, we will meet in our next video. Until then, have a great day. Bye.